Guys, look at this new line. Isn't this sick? I think even better now if I do this. Okay, I'm not doing that actually. What is all this? Bro, I look like I'm held hostage. <laughs> It would look like this motherfucker is going to ask, ask for ransom to get me. But um, I've been watching a lot of Jake Paul's fights recently. Funny, I don't know. I'm just watching his fights. Um, and I do have to say that if in order for Jake Paul to improve, there are a multitude of factors he needs to improve. One notable um, factor he needs to improve, first of all, like just three things, I think, in my opinion, definitely is technique. Like when he goes into Philly Shell, especially into the Nate Diaz fight, he takes a lot and a lot of damage from things he shouldn't be taking damage. It feels like he's aggressive almost because he's looking for that one punch, one knockout punch. You know what I'm saying? He's looking for that power punch that will destroy his opponent. We don't need to do that. What's optimal, in my opinion, is that you build up to that punch with good technique, um, thing, getting in, getting out, not getting hit, or if. My finish shot doesn't work because I've seen him use the finish shot a lot, but ineffectively, finish shot doesn't work. I would definitely suggest going for Canelo style, incorporating more head movements and hands up. You know, Nayo anyway is a phenomenal boxer and he used finish shot, of course, against the fight Steve, with Stephen Fulton. But I think it was like the sec first or second time he'd ever used finish shot on the ring at Nayo. Other than that, it was just pretty much. It was just pretty much hands up. It's orthodox. You know what I'm saying? I think that's what you need. And incorporating head movement as well. Being slick and smart. And defensively responsible. I think those things are more important than going Philly Shell. When Philly Shell is actually a risky a defensive a tactic. If you don't know how to use it. You know, if, if you don't know how to sort of roll properly. And like block you with punches. Then no. Don't. Stop, don't do it. Stop. Like. It, it, there's no point. You're going you're gonna to get yourself hurt. Um, I, get, I guess like you would weave that out through sparring, as well, of course, as well. Like, yeah, I just I, I'm 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 not sure what to tell you to be perfectly honest with you. Other than that, other than technique, it's like stamina and cardio. Like, his stamina is really good, but not good enough. He should be able to go through twelve rounds of boxing easy, especially at his level. Um, and the third thing that he needs to do to improve on it's pretty straightforward. Just train harder, train uh, more intervals, and train. What to him running, I guess. Just, just classic, bro. The third thing I have to say is, bro, get more, get more fights in your record. Like everyone's telling him, oh, we're fighting trash, you're fighting trash, you're fighting trash, friends. Like you haven't had twenty fights yet, and you already experienced your first loss. Like in boxing, you have to be undefeated for the first twenty fights, twenty five fights at least. Like it's, it's, it's that, it's that difficult. In MMA, you take a loss, okay, come back. It is more common and it is more acceptable because it's one promotion. With boxing, like you're you're like a free agent between multiple promotions, multiple um, belt organizations, multiple this, multiple that. The defeat means a lot. And I like what he's doing here with Andre August. Uh, Andre August is not the best of fighters, but you know he's still um, a, a good fighter. You know, for what I've seen so far of him, you don't need to fight top class guys. Like you don't need to fight world class opposition. Um, in your first 20 fights you don't need to I think it's, in my opinion it's better to pad your record a bit uh, even though I'm going to be like oh, why are you padding your record why are you padding your record well we need to see more of the fighter <laughs> I mean what, what do you mean why am I why are you padding your record we need to see more of the fighter we need to see him like you know, fucking shine you need to build up hype for your, your fighter you know what I'm saying if your fighter's undefeated for the first 20 fights and he wins like 5, 10, 15 fights by knockout that builds up a lot of hype for the fighter. That makes more money for the fighter. Makes it more entertaining for the viewer, and it makes it it's just overall better um, um thing for boxing. You take fights like Tommy Fury, which is like in my opinion like fucking a huge brand risk, too early. Like it just it it, it makes you lose that O oh, and you all in, in boxing is pretty much everything. And I flew me on the fucked it up, but it's it's the truth. Like it really is. Uh, I think for the next 10, 10 fights, you'll be fighting more um, like constantly, like at least once per month, twice per month, no, not twice a month, or um, once per two months, that's what I meant to say, fighting some, somewhat consistently like that in order to, you know, get his record, like, you know, not necessarily padded out, but more like built up, get his like resume built up, and then he can start going for the Tommy Furies, and again, he can start going for the, the Vidal Rides, the current world champions, you know, it, when he's more, a bit more of an established fighter. You know what I'm saying? 
he 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 doesn't need to like in the in the Nate Diaz fight he was like practicing the left hook and I could see in that fight that he was really looking for it and he was you know looking you know what I'm saying he's not he's not using his right hand he needs to as a fighter you need to be the, uh, like how do I say this you need to have a diverse arsenal of tools you can't stick to just one tool like I, I remember I was sparring and then I would the true story by the way I got knocked down in my sparring because I was I had a really sharp left hook and I still have it but like I have I've diverse my my tools since then but you know everyone would tell me oh yeah your left hook's really good your left hook's really good and then oh yeah you got a wicked left hook and then like, it got to my head I thought to myself oh, I could just throw a left hook and it, and it would land and my timing was right and then it would hurt my opponent and you know I'll, I'll get a hurt people in the liver with it but like I, I, my sparring partner saw the openings that that birth thing that I showed I was exposed when I threw the left hook and bro I, I, I paid the price I was punished for it. You can't be one dimensional as a fighter. Punch selection, punch variation is is is, is pa a tantamount. I I I I don't know why. Like everyone tells me he has a right hand, right hand, right hand. Okay, look for the right hand, but the left hook should, obviously should be there as well. But you should we should be that down in sparring, like hard sparring sessions. I think go light. I mean, it's like twice a week. Go hard once a week, maybe once per fortnight. Like, come on, guys. Why, why are you looking for the left hook in the fight? It's not a sparring session. It's always going to and hurt you. Money. By the time he should have went in the ring, he should have been uh, a more complete fighter. No, I'm not saying the most complete fighter, but a more complete version of a fighter. You know what I'm saying? So that's my that's my genuine opinion. It's just I, I'm 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 a bit weirded out by the situation. A bit weird about the situation. Jake Paul, like, I'm surprised he hasn't been like. I know he's been like, a bit of an asshole character. I'm surprised he hasn't worn all his belts. Like he has, I'll show you guys here. He has the WBA belt. He has the MVP belt. He has the WBC belt. The amateur WCB amateur belt. Then he has the um, and the other fight belt when he knocked out Ben Askren. I don't know why he doesn't wear them all. Like he's pretending to be done dispute or something. That would be that would be good. I, I I'm not sure. I'm not sure where he's going with this. Um, Andre always is always flying in a hotel. Uh, in it's fifteenth of December. Currently, it's the third of December. So in twelve days, roughly two weeks. Yeah, I, I'm not I'm not sure about that, but I definitely would say those those things that I just mentioned are critically important. You know, technique, stamina, uh, punch. Not punch. I don't know if techniques, but Punch variations part of that, bro. I got, I want to be like punch drunk or something. <coughs> give me a moment, give me a moment. Give me a moment, give me a moment, give me a moment. I'm recharge my brain. Then when you say technique, stamina, and also uh, record more fights, definitely more fights. Like be more, be more active in the ring. Like it doesn't matter if it's fucking Nate Robinson, like. Well, uh, a Nero was in three. If you can make money, and then you could convincingly, you know, build up your record. You know, who cares? Like, uh, get KSI in there as well. And honestly, for Jake, for Jake Paul, KSI is a filler opponent. Like, I really like KSI. Been watching him since FIFA days. Been watching him since the Horse days. Been watching him since the Heskey days. But like, KSI is not. It's not going to win against Jake Paul. Are you serious? Like, compare the fight. I, in my mind, out at the moment, because I was I was so like, influenced. The moment I said, "Oh yeah, oh yeah." Um, Case I could beat Jake Paul. No, no. I watched back the two fights. No, it wouldn't. It wouldn't be close. Like KSI, it, it, either he would get slept in round six, or like, he would lose to a decision and be like bullshit, 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 bullshit. And then Logan Paul would be happy in the corner. Finally, my revenge, oh little bro. Or oh, then like on the outside, he's like fake. Oh, oh no, my best friend he lost. I don't know how to feel. Oh, fuck man, shut up. Like we need to see Logan Paul. KSI, four or, or something, is it three or four? I'm not sure. Yeah, that space division decision victory. Logan Paul should have won that fight. It's just, ah, uh, just, motherfuckers are milking it enough, bro. Like, come on, we need to see more, guys, come on. Like, whatever, man, this guy sucks. That's even worse. That's even worse. That's even worse.
That's even worse. <laughs> I give up. Oh my, oh my, oh my god. What, what, what is his hair, brother? Okay, I'm cutting on the video. Uh, for the final video, that's gonna get cut out. Uh, yeah, see you a bit. Peace, leave me open, die me open. So guys, I wanted to add to this video even more because I didn't get to. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me tell the it's just. Dude, my hair is not flaking. My hair is just greasy, but I need to shower. Fuck okay, it, I don't care. I don't know. Do you care? We have Jake Paul right here. Peace. Boom. Well, Jake Paul, eight and one. Jake Joseph Paul, yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty legit YouTube box wreck. There's two people that I think he should really fight. He should fight again. Whoop! Completely, he should just sweep the division. All the YouTube boxers, uh, Austin McBroom, Bryce Hall, uh, Bryce Hall's um, light heavyweight cruiserweight. Austin Austin McBroom light heavyweight cruiserweight, I believe. You know, a Nissan Gib. Yeah, yeah. Who's on the rise again? Uh, a Nissan Gib. Did he, did he fight? He, he fought, I uh, believe, Austin McBroom. That'd be a good money fight. And it, it would draw some eyes. And it would pad his record. Like, what the fuck? I don't want to see another loss on this guy's record until he reaches at least 25 and 1. I think that's like a good spot to be. Um. He needs to get rematch, Deji rematch, bro. It will be, it'll be crazy. It'll be over. And why? And how? How, how much did you weigh on on that fight? It was two and four. Jesus Christ. Floyd Mayweather is crazy though. He was one hundred eight. He was heavier, one hundred eighty nine pounds. He's the same height as me. How does he reach that amount? Like what the fuck? He just fluctuates between weight like it's no one's no one's business. Um, yeah, so you can fight Swarms, you can fight Vinny Hacker, you can fight Alex Sabi. You can fight all these guys. Like, honestly, you can fight all these guys. You should sweep the division, in my opinion. That's what you should do. Give these guys the money fights, pad his record. Because at this point, what's more valuable? Money or his record? I think his record is more valuable because his record indirectly leads to more money, glory, you know, fame, everything you can poss possibly want as a boxer. Fuck this shit. That's what I think Jake Paul should do. Down the line, went crazy. How can you do this? <laughs> what is this, bro? That's what I think he should do. That's what I think Jake Paul should do. Um, right now, Jake Paul is just a bit of a mess. A bit of a mess situation. Like, um, I wait to see what happens with Andre August fight. I wish him well. Uh, just fight Rodal Riley down the line as well. Yeah, just, just a lot, man. It's a lot. Oh, catch you guys in the next video. Peace. That's all I want to say, really. That's all I want to add. Let me know if that video goes.